Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week and a half. Before we talk about our future, let's talk about a little bit about our past. The summer, we have seen, of course, lots of heat here recently. And if you add up all the highs and lows and average them out, you can see this summer, as of uh, yesterday, uh, basically ranks as the fourth hottest summer on record as we uh, just passed last year. Uh, for the number four spot. Probably we'll see this number go down here in the next couple of days, but plenty more heat on the way, which we'll talk about uh, right about now. Here's a look at, uh, first of all, where we stand. And again, a break from the heat uh, today and tomorrow as we do have some much drier air in place. More on that in a second. You can see temperatures in the 80s and low 90s across the area, about 10 degrees cooler than what we've seen here recently. 91 in Shreveport, mid to upper 80s in both DeKalb as well as in Texarkana with a crystal clear sky out there. And I mentioned the drier air. The reason for the drier air is that we have this big upper level low, which is situated over the Great Lakes, the high situated over the Rockies. This northwesterly flow here has pushed the cold front through the Arklatex, and we have seen that drier air invade the area uh, last night and this morning. You can see dew points, which typically this time of year in the low 70s, now in the upper 50s. And we'll see this dry air stick around and actually result in even cooler temperatures across most of the Arklatex tonight. As far as burn bands, we have seen a couple of additions with the dry air in place. The one thing we want to watch over the next couple of days, very low humidity, so conditions will be more conducive uh, for wildfires to start. And you can see we did add Morris and Miller counties to the burn band list so far today. Now, as far as future cast, don't expect much as far as clouds tonight as we will see a mostly clear sky. And with the wind dying down, that should allow temperatures almost area wide to dip into the 60s could actually have a few upper 50s over the northern sections of the area and then tomorrow we'll see lots of sunshine once again with maybe a, just a few more clouds over the eastern half of the Arctic text tomorrow night looking mostly clear and for thursday expect lots of sunshine with the wind shifting around to the south and southwest that is very quickly going to bring back the hot air as we'll see highs back into the triple digits as soon as Thursday. And it still looks unlikely that we'll see much as far as rain, not only for the next few days, but perhaps for the next couple of weeks. You can see a look at the uh, upper level pattern shows that ridge, which is now over the Rockies, gradually migrating back to the east. Uh, as we head into Friday and Saturday, that's when we once again could see some of the hottest temperatures of the summer so far with highs in the mid triple digits around 105, 106. Then we'll see this ridge uh, not really move very much heading into next week. And then as we go through the last half of next week, we'll see it, it continue to be entrenched across the southern half of the country. And that is going to keep us dry. A look at the long range model blend, which goes out 10 days, still shows zeros all across the Urkeltex here from now through next Friday. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Uh, we will see temperatures across the area that will be below normal. We'll expect uh, lows in Shreveport at 66, 62 in Texarkana, 59 degrees for the low temperature in Dequeen, 64 in Natchitoches. Tomorrow looking at plenty of sunshine once again with the low humidity sticking around. 93 for the high in Shreveport, 88 in Texarkana, 92 in Marshall. It's still rather hot over the southern edge of the area with highs in the mid to upper 90s. That heat will advance northward as we move towards the weekend. Triple digits starting Thursday back to 105, 106 for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we'll stay in the triple digits all next week. Overnight lows also warming back up as we'll see those lows advance into the upper 70s to low 80s as we go through most of the 10-day period. So uh, good news, bad news. We have one more dry and relatively for this summer, cool day, and then we'll see the return of the extreme heat as we go towards the weekend and all of next week.